Varys arrives in the winter town via litter, accompanied by Tyrion, who makes small talk due to the awkward, silent welcome they receive from the Northmen. Tyrion mocks Varys's castration, to which Varys says that Tyrion himself mocks eunuchs despite his hatred for the mockery of dwarfism. Tyrion explains that he jokes about the former simply due to not being a eunuch himself. Later, as Jon and Daenerys inspect the new defenses being put up around Winterfell, Varys, Tyrion and Davos view them from afar, remarking that a marriage alliance might help cement their alliance, especially in terms of appeasing the Northmen's distrust of Daenerys. Varys surmises to say that due to the youth of the two, the three old men are not applicable in making that decision, unaware that Jon and Daenerys have already begun a relationship en route to Winterfell. Varys is present at the trial of Jaime Lannister in the Great Hall of Winterfell, but does not speak. After Daenerys chastises Tyrion for his latest mistake, he stops to listen when Tyrion remarks that either Jorah or Varys himself might soon replace him as Hand of the Queen. Later, Varys attends the strategy meeting to prepare for the imminent attack by the White Walkers. He nods in agreement when Daenerys tells Tyrion he should stay in the crypts rather than fight. Varys remains in the crypts for the entirety of the subsequent battle. When the dead in the crypts stir due to the presence of the Night King, Varys manages to barely take shelter in an alcove, futilely protecting several of the children. His luck holds, however, and he survives the night. At the celebration following the defeat of the Night King, Varys watches the festivities and approves of Daenerys's decision to legitimize Gendry and make him the Lord of Storm's End. Varys is the only one of the Queen's retainers to observe her jealousy of Jon Snow's popularity among his people in Westeros. When Daenerys and her army return to Dragonstone, Varys is present on the flagship, processing a revelation delivered by Tyrion. Jon Snow is actually Daenerys's nephew, Aegon Targaryen. This new information, along with his observations of Daenerys's recent behavior, makes Varys reconsider his stance on Jon and Daenerys ruling jointly. When the ship is attacked and destroyed by Euron Greyjoy's fleet, Varys is among those who manage to make it to the shores of Dragonstone. As Daenerys prepares to order the devastation of King's Landing in revenge for the murder of Rhaegal and the capture of Masande, Varys invokes her earlier insistence that he tell her directly when he thinks she is making a mistake. Between him and Tyrion, Daenerys is convinced to at least try negotiating with Cersei, but Varys is now totally disillusioned and tells Tyrion directly that Jon Snow's more balanced nature makes him better suited to rule than the impulsive and increasingly volatile Daenerys. Varys is later present at the parley with Cersei and witnesses her petulant execution of Masande. Increasingly concerned by Daenerys's behavior on Dragonstone after the failed parley, Varys sends various letters to unknown parties through his little birds, and apparently attempts to poison Daenerys. He privately confronts Jon Snow, unaware that Tyrion is watching him. When Jon asks after Daenerys, Varys tells him about Daenerys's grief. Jon says she shouldn't be alone and Varys bluntly states his concerns about Daenerys, we both know what she's about to do, and tries to convince Jon that, regardless of titles, he is the right ruler for the Seven Kingdoms. Jon tells Varys he doesn't want the crown and, unable to believe Varys's words about Daenerys, refuses to betray her. Tyrion informs Daenerys of Varys's conspiracy, and she sends Grey Worm to arrest him. Varys does not resist, merely burning an unsent letter about Jon's parentage and removing his various rings before he is shackled and escorted to the shores of Dragonstone. Tyrion sadly confesses that he was the one who turned Varys in, but Varys accepts this calmly, telling Tyrion, I hope I deserve this. Truly, I do. I hope I'm wrong. Varys bids his longtime friend farewell. He then faces Daenerys and Drogon, stoically awaiting his execution. Daenerys holds true to her promise that she will execute him if he should betray her and has Drogon burn him alive. Varys's predictions prove to be correct. Even after King's Landing surrenders, Daenerys's rage and grief for the loved ones she had lost left her unsatisfied. Eventually, she uses Drogon to indiscriminately burn the city to the ground slaughtering thousands of small folk, exactly as Varys had feared. Following his arrest by Daenerys, Tyrion admits to Jon that Varys was right about her all along. He expresses regret at having betrayed his closest friend and watched him burn, claiming it was a crude kind of justice that he was sentenced to the same fate. 